Oh, that's a two-all draw with Mansfield, 2-0 up at, at 60 minutes. You've got to be thinking we should have had all three points there. Massively frustrating. Should have should have got three points. Um, it's just sloppy errors from us. Being we got to be consistent. We got to be solid at the back. And when it goes two 0 we got to see the game out from there. Like I say, sixty minutes in, thirty minutes left. We haven't conceded for sixty minutes. We got to make sure we don't concede for the next thirty. The first half, some of the best football we've seen at the New Lawn this season. How does it feel playing in that? Yeah, I thought it was great. The way we started and the way we played first half, first sixty minutes, which is chance after chance. And not all of them were easy chances. We did have a lot of, like, me and Matty had shots on the angle and the keeper made great save. But it was, it was enjoyable. It was tiring, but I know me, Jack and Matty and, like I said, we had Winnie and uh, Ebbs in there and then the full-backs going forward and we were just creating chance after chance and we were solid at the back. The goal then, a sweet strike off your, off your left foot. How tall you for it? Yeah, it's the, I'm confident on my left foot. Like, I bit in, it's moved and gone into the bottom corner. Um, like I say, I'm confident I've cut it I've cut off my right, cut into my left and it with my left and it's nestled in the bottom corner. So Did you see it nicely, was it always going in? Yeah, it was a perfect angle for me because I've hit it and I've just watched it move and uh keeper stood there and it was going at the keeper and then it's gone in the bottom corner. So And then not yeah. enough time for your celebration. No, not so. not enough time for a proper celebration but I have to say that for the next it'll come, yeah. But Three goals now in your last four games. You've got to be pleased with that that form and, and really hitting strike. Yeah, it's, it is, and I I want to carry it on. It's three and four. Oh, yeah, I can keep saying three, it should be four and four, but I will take it and I keep going. I will go into Morecambe now. I will go into Crew and I look to get another goal and more and more. When Jack scores that second, do you think that's it? Do you think you're home in those? Yeah, you do. You it's frustrating because you think you're two nil up. You think you're solid. You think that's it, and then. It's a killer blow when they go and score 10 seconds later because then we know it's 2 1 and the game's back on when we should be 2 0 up and we should be settled and we should see the game out. Very frustrating conceding so early on after scoring a second goal, but buzzing for Jack as well because he's, he's been wanting that goal since his debut and like he scored on his debut and since then he's had chances and I'm buzzing for him as well. Isn't it? But sat on the sideline, that must be frustrating watching that last 20 minutes. Very, stri very frustrating coming off. But it's the gaffer's decision, and uh, he he thought the shape would be better if I come off, and if that that's his decision, that's his decision. Um, frustrating for me, sat on the side, watch the second goal go in, knowing now I can't do nothing about it. Got to rely on the lads, and we did create a good chance. Um, felt to Elliot, knew that, and but we didn't, we weren't able to take it. But as a young side, how important is it to learn from these experiences and to go, OK, we, we know what we did wrong there, we can't, can't do that again for the rest of the season? Yeah, like, say, like Exeter, we learn from that. We, we know what we've done wrong and that's why we come out today and we made sure we made it right and the way we started and the first 60 minutes, you could say, was excellent. Um, but we go now, we watch it on Monday again, we watch the goals that we conceded and we make sure we don't do it again. Um, Back to Morecambe then. Someone got a sofa bed ready for you? Yeah, I hope so. I hope there's a <laughs> sofa bed, yeah. But now nah, back up to Morgan, yeah, I had a good three months here at the end of last season. But I'm going in there as a Forest Green player and I'm going to score and keep my tally going as well as going to get the three points for the team. For those who would have read the match day programme today, would see how much you did enjoy your time at Morgan. It was a really important part for mm -hmm. you, and that's really given you a stepping stone on to now being at Forest Green. Yeah, Morgan was a massive stepping stone for me. and. I enjoyed it so much there, um, but yeah, like I said, I wouldn't probably be here if I didn't do it as well as I did at Morgan. Um, but yeah, I'm here now and I'm looking to get a three points. So Won't cool. be doing Jim Bentley any favours then. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> but have a drink with him afterwards. Yeah, so I yeah. appreciate your time. Mate. Thank you.